Hi guys, little Aussie Mel here doing my week 10 weigh-in update. Um, I'll get straight into the numbers. Last week I weighed 83.5 kilos and today I've weighed in at 82.6. So that's a um, 0.9 kilo weight loss which is 2 pounds. So I'm really happy about that. I started working out this week so I thought that um, that I probably wouldn't lose any weight or I would um, actually gain weight. Um, I didn't weigh myself all week so I had no clue as to what the scale was doing. Um, yeah, so I was really surprised this morning to see a loss so that's really good. Um, working out this week's been really fun. Normally I I sort of haven't worked out till now because right around the time when I was able to start working out I broke my little toe so I held off really doing anything with it till now so um, yeah so it's fine it hurt a little bit at first but it's I think it's well and truly on the mend now so um, yeah so I did four workouts on the treadmill this week and um, and I just can't believe how much easier it is 20 kilos lighter to to be jogging on the treadmill. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I can sort of jog for about a minute and then power walk for a minute, jog for a minute, power walk for a minute. Um, and I just plug my iPad into the headphone jack on the treadmill and, did I say iPhone or iPad? iPad. And uh, yeah, so I, I just make up like a playlist with YouTube music videos and then plug it in and job away and uh, and it's really good because the iPad covers up the timer on the console so before I know it I sort of peek under and see how um, how long I've been going for and it's like half an hour's up already so uh, yeah so that's really good uh, I did some crunches and free weights and stuff like that and and again with that I just can't I just couldn't believe the difference doing sit-ups with without so much tummy fat in the way and and it, it was one of those weird moments where you look at your body and don't even recognize it because I'm so used to that those rolls of fat when I'm doing sit-ups and to um, yeah and to just be sitting up and seeing there's really not that much there anymore I mean I still got a fair bit of tummy fat but not not as much as I used to so um, I did like all my measurements last week and um, uh, I think rough. I think I've lost roughly 15 centimeters off like my waist and hips, and like 15 centimeters off each area, which I don't know is maybe like seven inches ish. I, I don't know. I'd have to look that up. So yeah, so there's a fair bit of difference there. So that's really good. Um, what did I want to talk about today? Um, yeah, T TJ did a back to basics video last week. And um, James R and Y guy was talking a little bit about it in his video too. They were talking about how people go into like a weight loss goal, thinking that when they get to the end, it's going to be like a magic pill that solves all of life's problems. <laughs> and um, and I think I've I'm probably guilty of that. Like I think I've spent a lot of my life feeling like. Um, yeah, that there was like an underlying level of unhappiness in my life and that if I could lose weight then um, that, would, that wouldn't be an issue anymore and I would just be happy. So um, I, I guess it is a big fear for me that what if I do, well I know that I'm going to, that it's not going to magically fix everything now and of course I'm going to be happier physically that's that's got to improve your life to some extent but it's not going to fix everything so I think that it made me realize how maybe in the past that was part of the reason why I sabotaged all my efforts because I used to just be so baffled like why couldn't I get my shit together and just follow the plan and if I wanted it so badly why couldn't I make it happen and and I think that I don't know. Maybe I was holding on to, like, you know, maybe it's that's too scary to face. That that what if it's if you lose all the weight and you're still not happy or you're still not you don't feel like you're good enough. I think 
maybe that would be too big a pain to bear. So, yeah, maybe that's why I used to um, kind of try and hold on to like being overweight as my excuse. And and I think when you're overweight, you can you can use that to blame a lot of stuff on. So, so like if I'm um, if I'm unhappy in my relationship, I could blame it on, well, if, you know, blame it on my weight. Or if I didn't, didn't get a job I really wanted, I could blame it on the fact that, well, they didn't want to hire a fat person instead of maybe facing the real truth that you weren't qualified enough for the job. Or um, there's a lot of instances where you can actually use being overweight as a a scapegoat for where things aren't going right or why you're not getting the things you want out of life. So, yeah, so if if that's removed from the whole equation, where does, like, you have to kind of face up to the reality of a lot of situations. So um, maybe that's, yeah, why people struggle to lose weight and and sabotage themselves because they, they're holding on to that Thing they can blame everything on so I don't know that's just some new thoughts going through my mind at the moment so food for thought I'd you know be interested to hear what everybody thinks about that um, and people have also been talking a bit about jealousy this week and um, I think it, it got me thinking about how you like that's a good example of when YouTube friends are better than real friends I mean you know like your real life friends I mean I love my real life friends they're they're awesome I can really talk to them about anything and everything I had to catch up with a good friend of mine from high school and two nights ago and you know we just talked a million miles an hour for like six hours straight <laughs> and we still could have kept on talking so um, yeah so I've got really great friends but um, I think that you can't talk to your friends, your everyday friends, about, you know, well, how much did you weigh? Women don't generally talk about how much they they weigh, and um, or or really talk about, well, how many calories did you eat today, and are you exercising, and what are you doing, and and I think we're also obsessed with that in this community that uh, a a real life friend would get maybe pretty sick of such um, self-absorbed conversation, whereas we love it, we're like, yeah, bring it on, the more the better, so, um, yeah, I'm really thankful for that, I'm really glad that I've made friends um, in this community, because, yeah, I think, I don't think it would be healthy for my other relationships to, to talk about it that much, um, and um, I guess on another level with, with jealousy, I think, you know, even all, even though all my friends are skinny, or I perceive them to be skinny, like you know, they they may feel in their mind that they want to lose five kilos and be down about down about it themselves for not being able to lose five kilos or ten pounds or whatever. And even though that's nothing to um, people like us, like to them, like everything's relative. So they might be feeling down about that, and then we come along and we're talking about how much weight we're losing and. You know, they might not be jealous, but they might feel envious of that and and feel, yeah, it just might make them feel a bit crappy about their what's going on for them. So um, it's good to be able to share with people that are all um, on, on the loser's bench, yeah. Uh, and also with jealousy, I've found a lot of jealousy creeping into my relationship at the moment. Um, I guess there's like you know there's attention coming in like just you know harmless attention with people commenting on my videos or talking to people on Facebook and that kind of stuff and um, but that takes time away from from my partner and and then there was also like oh, when I went out for New Year's Eve and my husband stayed at home and the, the pub I went to was like a country town pub so there was a lot of men there and there was a lot of unwanted attention that came with that and I was like open and honest to my husband about all of that but that I don't know that just kind of made him feel threatened or something 
So, um, yeah, so that wasn't very good. And, and I think, and I, I sort of really hate, I'm, you know, I'm an independent person, so I really don't like being um, grilled about where I am and what I'm doing and all that sort of stuff. So that's just, that's causing a bit of a weird dynamic for me at the moment. So I'd really love to know what, um, for people who are further down the journey than me, like if they found their partners feeling like that um, and how they kind of got through that or if they're still going through it. I think, um, I'm hoping that it's just a phase and like once he adjusts to the new me that it might resolve itself. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I guess if it was reversed, the roles reversed and he was suddenly losing weight and bulking up in the gym and talking to people online, I'd be pretty jealous about it, so I can understand it, but it's, you know, it's still not nice at the same time, so and I'd love to hear your comments on that. Um, what else? Oh, so shout outs this week. I have to shout out to um, the lovely Sarah Nerd in Oregon and Chris Waffle. Aren't they just the cutest couple ever? <laughs> They're, you know, they're on Facebook writing songs to each other and saying, I love you, babe. <laughs> so cute. Um, I love it. Keep it coming, you know. And, uh, yeah, so my shout out to you guys is that I think, um, yeah, that I just really hope that in 2014 you guys can sort out your, your living situations or something so that you can spend more time together and be together because you obviously make each other very happy so so yay for love <laughs> um and and a quick shout out to a new Aussie on the scene Melanie Melanie's VSG journey I think she just changed she just changed her YouTube channel so but I put a little thingy on Facebook the other day um so you could go and check her out so she's having her surgery um this year so I think Oh, I've just totally forgotten when she, she told me. I think it was like March, maybe. Uh, yeah, so go and check her out. Um, there's actually, it's weird. There's a lot of um, Mel's and Brett's around the the whole like weight loss surgery community. But there's me, then there's the new Melanie. So I'll call her Melanie and call me Mel. Maybe that will save some confusion. Um... And and then there's also another girl, um, another Mel, who she's not making videos yet, but I'm friends with her on Facebook. And um, there was somebody else. And then anyway, and then there's my husband Brett, Sarah Harry Draco girl's partner is Brent. And then there's Crystal Muller in Canberra. She her her husband's name's Brett. Um, and then there's. VSG Brett Down Under, who just lives near me, who had the surgery as well. So it's really weird. I don't know why that happens. Mel's not actually that common, that much of a common name in Australia, so it's very bizarre. But there's so many of us, but hey, the more the merrier. Um, anyway, I think that's it for me today. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, oh, and the Aussie meet and greet, um, it's, it's going to be taking place on the 10th of October this year in Sydney. Um, I'm going to put together like a little website this week with all the info and um, and then yeah I'll, put, I'll talk about it more in next week's video when I've got all that sorted but um, but yeah I've got like I don't know already like 14 people that are really keen to come some Kiwis, New Zealanders um, and um, yeah and then just the Aussies that I know about now but um, well, yeah, I'm going to do a few things to reach out to some more Aussies. But definitely, we really want the Americans to come. So um, if, if you can make it, you'll be treated like royalty. You'll be like the VIP of the event. So um, have a think about it. You need a fair bit of cash, though. Um, yeah, you'd easily be looking at five grand for, for maybe a 10-day holiday out here. But anyway, you never know if you never, never go. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Bye.